Hello everybody, my name is Course Healer, and welcome to my first Let's Play, of which is my favorite game, Hearts of Iron 4. Um, I've been playing this game since it's been released, and I've been a fan of the Paradox Interactive series for a long, long time. And I thought, you know, screw it, might as well play it online, have people watch me, see that I'm not the best, but let's get into it. Today we are going to be playing Bulgaria. Bulgaria is a rather tough nation. Um, you're not in the best of positions here, but you know, you can expand. So just to show you, I'm going to have historical AI focuses on. I'm not going to be an Iron Man because I just don't play like that. I will not be using cheats. So some of you, thanks uh, for tuning in. Now, don't expect the best uh, gameplay from me. Um, this is my first time trying it out, and I'm just hoping everybody likes it. Alright, and I'm loading in. Uh, well, for those of you wondering, uh, my plan currently is probably to take over Greece. That's going to be a little difficult. And maybe Yugoslavia uh, later on. Um, I'm kind of a guy who likes to keep neat borders. So I don't know if I want to annex all of Yugoslavia. I might take Macedonia and the southern bit here in the Serbian region. And yes, I called it Macedonia. I'm not going to get into that political problem. But anyway, all right. So I like to do things a certain way. Um, like I put my factories in a certain way, and I also do certain uh, types of divisions. I try to keep in the meta. Like I know that 44 divisions are better, but 22 size divisions. And I just find it to be the easiest to do for a while. But anyway, uh, we're going to be starting with political efforts. We can get become fascist nice and quick because that is your strategy. Or actually, let's not do that. There we go. Now, as you can see, we have very little manpower. 45k. That's only enough for about... Uh, five divisions actually so we need to fix that so my factory is there I don't have any resources and also I have no equipment that I did not know so oh, let's see what we have so our cavalry divisions actually have motorized infantry this I did not know because I've never played Bulgaria. This is my first time playing them, but I'm gonna try my best. So it's actually pretty neat. Um, it is gonna be a decent alternative, but I think I'm gonna have to go with my infantry divisions for the most part. So I have two of those actually. Um, I'm producing. Oh, by the way, I have the extended and and streamline production lines clearly because I am impatient for the release of Waking the Tiger and I don't want to have 50 infantry equipment things in the way when I'm trying to find my ships or my planes. So, yeah. Speaking of like we're producing motorized, so we produce everything we need just at a very, very slow rate. So we're going to get our steel from the Soviet Union. Actually, let's do Germany. I'm not going to worry about uh, rubber. Oil is more important to import early on. You can do without rubber initially. We're going to use Soviet Union for that. Because the Soviet Union is not requiring any convoys. You never want to use convoys if you have no convoys at all. Like, we have five. That's not good. Uh, we have four factories. 48 fighters. I will be at interwar fighters. And I'd say we are set to go. For the sake of FPS reasons, also, you can see, if you can see the capture thing up here, 
I'm getting about 24 frames per second. My computer is not the best. And it's probably even worse in the recording. But, you know, I'll try. And it's not too noticeable in a game like this. I'm hoping to get a new computer fairly soon. I'm using a somewhat mediocre gaming laptop. But anyway, um, so yeah, no, as a neutral nation, we are not able to declare war on anyone until, actually, I might have to go for Greece at the beginning, because I have those claims. Um, Romania might be another good option, they have a lot of divisions. No manpower. So I guess it all really depends on what I'm able to do and what I'm able to shell out. So for now, I'm going to focus on reinforcing my guys. Once I get those manpower boosts from the uh, fascist tree, I am going to be a happy little boy. <sighs> yeah, as you can see, we already have the, the red. And also, I'm not a micro guy. I know it's better to micro. It's just, I, I don't have the ability to focus on that many things at once. I'm just not the best. But I think if we can manage to cut off a lot of the troops here, it should be easier. Once you get out of this area overall, it's going to be. Easy as pie. I was considering doing a Bulgaria game in the Kaiser Egg mod, which, uh, if you're familiar with Hearts 4, you should be familiar with that. But, um, I thought, you know, might as well start off with vanilla. So, when I was saying, I'm probably, oh, I may, I might look up the borders of the Bulgarian Empire from the early Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, if you prefer. Uh, right. They basically controlled all of southern Romania. I think they controlled bits over here. I know they controlled well, modern-day Bulgaria, but I'm going to need to check on that. For now, Greece is our target, and I am going to annex all of Greece, because Greece is needing to be Slavic. Greeks are not Slavs. But they need to be Slavic. What a glory of Slavism. Also, yes, I am not funny. There is no surprise there. Also, why is... I don't... Are they going down? No. Huh. Interesting. I've never played Czechoslovakia. I've been meaning to. It's just interesting. Because I've heard that their tree is not the best. And from what I know, Poland, well, I do know, Poland's tree is just a slightly reorganized Focus, generic focus tree. It quite literally is. The only unique bit is the Polish Revanchism. Uh, the Between the Seas, basically that stuff, a lot of the stuff is just borrowed from the generic focus tree and renamed and reorganized. I've, I've heard, I've never checked, that the uh, the construction stuff that gives you factories and such is not very good. You do get boost to your construction. Oh, that's the only thing that I've seen. So you get three, four uh, civilian factories. The normal one, you get one, two, Three. So you get less civilian factories. 
Now, to be fair, Poland already has a pretty decent industrial base compared to me or Romania. Czechoslovakia does, has a huge industry because they're Czechoslovakia, and that's how they were prior to the war. How's progress on that focus? About halfway done. Um, let's check bumping it up. Um, as for waking the tiger, I know I go off topic a little bit, but waking the tiger, I am looking forward to that. It looks like a great DLC. Um, I'm a bit, I don't really care about Paradox and how the DLC works, because, you know, it's just, I feel that odds to experience. Like, there's always a little something added that I enjoy. Um, I mean, waking the tiger, it seems to be universally liked by everyone. I mean, it's added from China, the one of two major miners. I guess you could call them the set, other being Brazil. I mean, the Raj, technically, but they have a focus group. Brazil, China, they both have a lot of potential. China, mostly, because they start the game with 5, 5 million manpower available. Uh, 90 divisions. Not 90 divisions, but around 60 divisions. They don't have as much as France. So France has ridiculous amount of divisions. Most of them are trash. Yeah, we're in Italy, or Ethiopia, I mean. Seems to be actually going pretty decently. I mean, that's not gonna that's gonna change pretty quickly but uh, if only the AI knew that we're truly to Addis Ababa yeah see right there first breakthrough I mean, you both attack there or you can pick a check in circle there's a lot of things AI can do but still there's potential you can win as Ethiopia I think as many people know, just hold out in Addis Ababa uh, for the entirety of the war with all your divisions. Italy cannot simply, just simply cannot break through there. They, they are unable to. Because it's mountains, you're also defending and you have 15 divisions or so right there. Not mention Italy just has bad divisions. So yeah. And I'm gonna pause once this focus is done. And once it is done, I'm gonna get a fascist demagogue immediately. Because that's the strategy. You do it. You know, there are some things in this game that I don't understand. Like some of the borders. You know, the only historical thing that I've seen for the reasoning why the Western Benat region here, or this part of Vojvodina, or how the hell you pronounce it, I don't know how to pronounce the Hungarian. Like, first of all, why can't they make it more similar to modern borders? Give that bit to the Croatia, give that those bits to this state, and you know, keep that. Or you can do what Kaiserreich did and make that a separate state. I think that's what they did. I could be wrong. Collectivist collectivist bleh. higher ups, because I want that coup. Don't want to lose five national unity. Because it's just a hindrance. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna do that actually. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna be expecting many views for this video, considering that it's gonna be my first upload, and also barely anyone watches my videos.
<sighs> yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not cracking too many jokes, but I mean, I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do. I really cannot wait for Waking Tiger. I want to do a game. I don't know who I want to do a game as, because I mean, you have the, the German Empire thing for Germany. Japan, the Japanese tree is finally good. I mean, those of you who don't know, it, it's trash. It's super small. Uh, the only real expansion things you have is the Chinese border incident, Chinese puppet, which is the what you that's the meta you go with because you can get it's a like 60 40 chance that China accepts. And you still go to war either way. So if they don't accept it, I mean. And then they have that, which is, eh. Founding art your faction. That's if you want to be a whatever. Indian National Army gives you crap divisions. That's it. it. Gives you two crap divisions. It makes India slowly break away. Not too fun. Man French Indochina. Yeah, it's slight. I, I don't know the rate, but I've seen, like, I from what I've observed, uh, 40, 60 chance, 60 for them denying it. Siam, like, that's it. That is it. After that, um, is there, don't they have the focus? Yeah, they have this. So, this, these are the only two other focuses. The Northern Expansion isn't really even well done. It's just Northern Expansion. If you do it, you can't, you can't invade, uh, the good bits. You can't get all of these juicy, juicy resources down here. I mean, you could have, uh, pretty much about 600, 750, 800, 816, um, probably 900. To put it simply, you can have about a thousand rubber with all these states. Even Ceylon. Ceylon has a lot of nice rubber. Okay, looks like the Spanish Civil War has gone off. I used to have a friend who was obsessed with the Spanish Civil War. I have no idea why. And, to be frank, you know, whatever. It, it's a neat thing that isn't really talked about much. Now, the map could be better, and also, yes, there were socialists, like in Catalonia, but the Republicans were not... 100% communist. Like, I feel they need to really expand on the ideologies and not just have fascist, communist, democratic, and non-aligned. Because the non-aligned, yeah, I can get that. But for countries like Austria-Hungary, where that's just their... Well, when you, as Hungary, when you do the Austro-Hungarian path, that's the ideology it pushes you towards. And you can't do much with that ideology. So you go fascist, but then, you know, if you're a person who likes uh, flavor and immersion, you don't have Otto as your leader anymore. And not to mention your flag changes. So they need to put in some kind of authoritarian, like, like what Kaiserreich does, but not Kaiserreich goes like really crazy. Like they could have, you know, uh, conservative or some kind of like right-wing uh, democratic left-wing democratic and then you know yeah uh, left-wing democratic would probably be some form of socialism maybe not Ugh. nah I don't mm, I mean I'm fine having communism represent majority of socialist nations in the world because, you know, it's, it's an easy way to do it. But, like, it, this, it's this stuff. 
where it says that the Democrats in America have 99% support. That is not true. Um, fascism could be split into, you know, like I said, some form of authoritarian nationalism, because Japan, at this point in the war, or world, was not fascist. They were just extremely authoritarian and autocratic. But they were not fascist. Germany, I can understand being fascist. Italy, I can get being fascist. <sighs> what other... There's, yeah, it's, um... The Dominican Republic and El Salvador that are both fascist, which is interesting, but I think that's just more dictatorships. But, like, China, they can't do anything. You need to go. You need to go fast. This is China, or else you were just screwed. Because if you go communist, well, all your stuff goes to the communists. They... And I'm hoping Waking the Tiger makes a neutral China be able to do stuff. So it looks like it's going to take a little bit. Here. But we will do our best. Um, the UPPP is going to disappear in a reasonable amount of time um, as I get my next bump 150 I'm gonna bump myself up to early mobilization because I want those factories I'm gonna go down to nationalism um, gonna take militarism and then start doing industrial stuff because I want those research slots I just need to become fascist first. I do diverse or dispersed industry because they are quite good for a small nation like this. Where are my divisions? Oh, I, I'm in resource mode. Um, how long is it saying? Not good. I don't need any trucks, so let's put those towards guns. I'm gonna lose those trucks very soon, but I don't care. Anyway, um, for those of you who don't know, probably a lot of you, I am huge into uh, World War II and most. Uh, pre-Vietnam history. I, yeah, I acknowledge Vietnam as being significant, but I just find at that point wars become far too modern, I want to say, because like World War II in Korea, I found those wars to be a lot more with less of the traditional quote-unquote style wars. Um, anyway, gosh, I apologize that this is taking really slow. It's just the best my computer can do without everything looking like trash. Shout out to my friends at school. Um, not gonna name names, but they're pretty cool dudes. Uh, for any of them watching, this is what the game looks like, and I'm gonna I'm gonna kick some Greek butt. But there are some workers in this game that I wish they would fix, like. Yeah, they got the... Okay, cool. Might have to delay on the whole 
uh, industry thing because it's time to do that. 130 days. I really like the um, Bulgarian fascist flag. Uh, it harkens back to the Kaiserbund flag of World War One, which I think it's trying to invoke, and it's also just a neat design overall. So I don't think I'm going to go with militarism immediately because I need to rush down there. And, you know, I'm going to get some more manpower once I take Thrace. Mas Central Macedonia, Macedonia. Going to take the Bruja, obviously. Probably going to take Mitania, Oltenia. Um, might take Albania if I have the ability to. I am going to take Montenegro, Morava, all that. Probably Istanbul also. Because gotta make that stuff Constantinople again um this first video is gonna be a bit long I want to say maybe oh I don't know how long this is because I started the timer like halfway through quick moment while I stop that actually because I want you guys to see some action in the first episode um, let's check up over here it looks like Franco is kicking some socialist butt um, he hasn't managed to do the obvious thing cut off take these three provinces here and you know four whatever and cut off the Catalonian troops take Madrid that that's the thing to do you take Madrid the Spanish Civil War is a war of encircling with tanks if you're sending volunteers by the way that is gonna be that would be another neat game to do uh, Spain game taking you know, Portugal maybe form the Spanish Empire take all those stuff back seven hundred fifty days so that's probably gonna be more like six hundred um, I'm gonna need to micro here Hey, looks like Italy finally did the job. So we're waiting for the 24th of October. That's uh, we so once the war starts, I'll do some combat, and then that will be the end of the recording. Actually, oof, it's gonna take a lot of space. Away. You know what? Um, I'm going to end it here. Next episode, we will finish up what we're doing here and start our war with Greece. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.